What's the deal, man? It's Bulldog McLean at the Bulldog McLean TV. We was chilling, 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 and it's hot, 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 hot. Y'all can't tell me that it's not hotter. That's the beaming. I ain't felt the heat like this before. I'm, and, I, and I'll be in the heat, you know what I'm saying? This sun beaming. I'll be honest, I don't remember it being this hot. It's like a heat. It's a new hot. I don't remember being this hot, ever. Maybe I'm just conspiracy brain up. Maybe I'm Dolph seeing reaching. Maybe I'm reaching. Might be a reach. Hot is hot. Anyways, man, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right? So today's video is going to be about the influence rappers have on the black community. First thing first, break this topic down. Entertainers have influence on all communities. I'm pretty sure in Korea, as a K-pop band, boys out there wearing makeup, dressing like the K-pop guys. I'm pretty sure when NSYNC had they run, boys were dressing like MC, NSYNC and Justin Timberlake and the Backstreet Boys. I remember that early 2000 white boys looking like them guys. I remember the heavy metal area era growing up, weird white people wearing gothic clothes and, 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 and cutting. We had a weird gothic girl at school cutting her wrists and stuff. So the gothic stuff was in. But here's the, here's the difference. The influence entertainers have on other races is like 15%. The influence rappers and hip hop culture has on the black community is like 89 to 90 percent. They have 90 percent influence over us. More influence than doctors, more influence than parents, more influence than anybody. A lot of black boys are waking up. A lot of black guys are waking up. But it's very uh, put like this: for every one that wakes up, a hundred is still asleep. Meaning a hundred black men asleep. Meaning they're resorting to crime. They are not using their resources as far as like learning how to drive trucks. Uh, there's a lot of ways to get money, but a lot of us, and don't get it twisted, a lot of guys are just born hustling. Their daddy was hustling. They, the son's hustling. They, they don't understand. A lot of the dope boys we got now are passed down generational dope boys. That great granddaddy was a dope boy. This guy's a dope boy. So uh, what I mean is, God, black men, we are waking up. More black men are getting their CDLs. More black men are getting their, their degrees. But we still have a lot of useless dead weight, and we need to do away with these useless black men. There's a lot of them that are useless, man. A lot of them going out here getting four or five girls pregnant, not raising none of the kids. Man, you, I got a homegirl now. I really hate that the guys that she attracts sometimes, sometimes, are just, and a lot of girls attract these guys. And a lot of times they're black. These low level guys asking them for money living from house to house no sense of direction you know and and we can we can go through that through we, we can go through all that through not having a father at home the government you can uh, what you can't blame nobody but yourself and i'm blaming nobody but the black man for just being useless now the rapper has so much influence that it's a negative influence way negative so they tell us how to dress how to work, how to act, and they've been doing this since Pac came out. And here's the thing: most of these rappers are agents. Pac was not a gangster. Mob Deep was in ballet. Uh, Kodak Black tried out for Nickelodeon. Offset was in Whitney Houston as a background dancer. Background dancer. Bow Wow's Kendall. I don't know who Bow Wow influenced. Nobody wanted to be Bow Wow. Girl. He's one of the sorriest, lamest rappers of all time. Uh, so there's been a crazy influence on him. Now, rappers pretty much lead, pretty much are in control of the, the prison, the prisons and all that stuff. So, Crazy Bone came out a long time ago, and there's really been no, you can look at the jails and tell that there has been an influence of got black men making terrible, irrational decisions. And I'm going to lie, some of that stuff could be based on the hip-hop. Think about it. Rappers have us toting guns, glocks with a switch. Think about when Molly came out. When Molly came out, nobody was doing Molly until the rappers wrote about it. Nobody was popping perks until the rappers wrote about it. Nobody, and the influence is really bad, especially for the females. The influence for the hip hop culture on the females is bad. Our women who are who follow hip hop culture are lost. That's why no black relationships working. The black male is. Think about the the influence rap and entertainment has on the black male's mind. All we know is getting physical interaction from women. There's not one rap song out about being a faithful man and having a family and doing the right thing. And it's not going to be one because it doesn't sound right making hip hop with positive music. So black men, we are living like children. We, we if you, if, if you are, and I can tell a lot of guys are influenced by, by the way they dress. Think about it. 
stack jeans. I haven't even bought me a pair yet. I'm not going to. The uh, whatever's in style, whatever the rappers are wearing, what size gonna wear. Now the influence it has with the females, these girls are talking crazy. Who says anything about their BH in a song? Their booty, you know what I'm saying? Their their um their the their, their, their however you want to say. It. I don't know if YouTube has an issue with holes. The word holes. Y'all get what I'm saying though. Those lyrics are being rapped now, and then just how loud and how how the how loud our women are, how how every and think about it, all the girls now who are in hip hop culture, all the girls, no matter what the race is, and usually if they are in hip hop culture, no matter what the race, everybody around is black. So if it's a white girl she likes hip hop culture, her friends are black. A Spanish girl who likes hip hop culture, all her friends are black. So they still are considered to be one of us because of who they're around. All the women who are in this culture sell their bodies. So everybody has now, all the women are now selling their bodies. Women only, I'll see, it, and it's affecting normal people now. So that's what I mean by the effect. Once normal people are doing it, like young girls who work at plants, post on Facebook, don't hit my inbox, this is money. More and more girls are doing OnlyFans and they're okay with it. I don't know who the hell y'all parents are, but there's no way my daughter be doing it. Y'all just let these people do whatever they want. No, man, there's, we need to become beneficial to society for when the power goes out the power is going to go out one day nationwide what are you going to be able to do all you do for the past year is show your body parts off same thing with the males the males are useless now too because they don't have no skills the rappers tell these guys to do drugs the rappers tell these guys to harm people the rappers tell these guys and the influence hits these young children who have the worst parenting and they know what's going to hit them Y'all, I grew up in the Young Jeezy Trap or Die era. I remember all my friends just started. We was in sixth grade, seventh grade came, we started trapping. Everybody was trapping, and it was the norm. Once we got to high school, really Jeezy hit like 05. 05, ninth grade year, everybody's trapping, everybody's selling drugs. Every young black boy is just getting in trouble, getting in trouble. So many, and, it's, and I can tell the rappers put in our minds that black men are supposed to go to jail. The TV puts it on mind. It's not just like the rappers, but a lot of the movies with black people in it, when they show a movie with black people in it, nine times out of ten, what happens? They have hip-hop music. They have black jokes. They keep the black culture there. So they show a black man doing what? Going to jail. So we have that stuff in our mindsets to where now black man wants to go to jail. They, I, a lot of our black boys want to go to jail. That's why they, they do the crimes they do, and they're happy to go there. You know, and then we get praise. Think about how many guys in the rap community rap about the praise they get. Oh, I've been locked up. I'm in the feds. You ain't been in the feds. Oh, you a snitch. We're the only community that does that. The rap community is the the black community is the only community that look at rappers as leaders. We're the only community that is influenced by these people the most. We're not the only one, but we're the ones who does it the most. Every community is, is influenced by some type of entertainer. I'm pretty sure little white girls are influenced by Taylor Swift. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of more influence on other races, but nobody has it like it is with black folk. Black folk have it the worst. And it's only getting worse. Worse and worse. Think about how many young guys is painting their nails now. Why are you painting your nails? Because you seen somebody else do it. You seen a guy a rapper do it and he was with a fight. It's like this, like this. If we see Playboy Cardi in a thong and a fishnet outfit with women that look way, way better than what we sit beside, what are we going to get the impression at, especially as a 15-year-old boy? I need to be doing what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Even uh, for rappers even also influence the future music. Most of these guys' music now is trash. You know what I'm saying? Because they're being influenced by the previous rapper. You know? I do believe rappers believe that we need to, they put out the idea. Now, this whole drill thing. That's another one that got worse. And Lee Chopper talks about, I'm going to walk down on you with a chopper. His name is NLE Chopper. That boy is an educated kid, man. That boy is, is an educated, harmless guy. And he raps about this stuff. And so many young kids, before they scrapping, a lot of young kids ain't scrapping, they are walking up with straps and guns <laughs> right now. So these guys are walking up with guns, straps, all this stuff, and, and having shootouts like, so T.I. Sun King had a situation where somebody called him out in public. First thing he did was reach for his book sack. Look how many young boys are throwing their lives away over a situation that could be somebody could walk away 
and then they're not scrapping. They pulling out all these guns and look at all the videos. Everybody doing this right here. Look how many young. I, I had. I remember one time I was out and like I was in a, I was in, a, in an area. All the young guys had guns on them. I'm like, why? And who are they going to use those on? They're more likely going to use them on the same race. All those bullets are for other black people. All of them. It was a movie called Boys in the Hood, and it had a a story they told. Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood. And there was a story they told about a black guy was in jail. He got locked up with a KKK member. And the KKK member said, hey, man, who are all who you killed? They were other N-words, right? So you did me a favor. Uh, there was a KKK man. They interviewed him, and they put him, and he said in the video that we don't have to, we don't have to harm black people. All they got to do is drop some liquor in, they, in their area, some guns, they'll take themselves out. And we will. And a lot of that, we can blame rap music. I always really want to boil it down to the source, which is parenting. I didn't want to blame the single black mom. Those I blame the single black dad for not fighting to get custody for your kids. And if you know the single black mom is going to settle for Section 8, you know the single black mom is going to settle for this. Majority of those black men did not go out and get degrees. Majority of black men in, in, in our previous generation did not go out and get, get, get trades. They didn't. They did not fight for their kids. A lot of black men, oh, well, she got the kid. And then they said, oh, the, the court system has changed. As today, time in today's time, 2024, the court system is not like how it was in 1990. Guys can go get full custody of their kids. And I think it's really been like that. We just had so many sorry fathers who didn't want to take custody of their children. So if the single mom is the problem, why didn't the dad get his life together and get custody of the kids? Nobody never says that. Nobody never brings that up. We put all single mom. And, I, and, and we can go back and forth. I'm not trying to be quote unquote true size here. The single black mom is a detriment to the hood. They they, they are a lot of the times. Uh, the, all the yelling they do, abuse as far as beating all the kids. I'm not including my mom and none of that. My mom worked. My mom took care of us. She kept me out the street. I wasn't in the street. My mom bought me all the games I wanted. My mom only beat me very few times. But I have seen other black mothers not be in the kids like smoke and drink all day, sell sex, beat the kids, be crazy, run everybody off. So it's a vice versa. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. So it's bad parenting on both ends. Both ends. So another thing that gets is that we have kids, we have children very early. Think about it. Kids listening to our music, our rap music, will influence us to have sex. My entire generation growing up, listen to a bunch of slow R&B. And uh, think about it. All Anytime you see a black face on the camera, we're rapping about singing and making love and having sex from Marvin Gaye to now. Let's get it on. Imagine being five years old singing, let's get it on. You gonna go to school and wanna get it on. I was at school, girls rapping my neck, my back. Kids at school today, rapping sexy red, the cycle continues. So now we are having sex at a younger age and we are having sex earlier, which produces kids having kids. 18 year old kid having a kid, a 15 year old kid having a kid, a 13 year old kid having a kid. You know what I'm saying? A lot. I only see that in my community the most. 13 year olds having babies, 12 year olds, and guess who the daddies of the babies are? Grown men. So nobody want to talk about those grown, nasty men. A lot of rap music had lyrics about them smashing with little kids and, and, and underage stuff like that. Go look at us, a girl on Instagram who was exposing them, and they wanted to get rid of her about exposing all those guys for rapping about touching underage girls. That was a norm. And here's another thing a lot of the rappers who are in the entertainment industry are not real people, man. Shine, one of them. He's the president of Belize right now. So you was acting. Why you got a thick Caribbean accent when you had this New York accent when you came in? Ja Rule, heavy, heavy, heavy educated kid. 50 Cent showed y'all. Go watch the song. You can find me in the club. Go look at that song in the club. Go watch that video. 50 Cent told you he was made in a lab. All those stories about 50 Cent, all that childhood stuff. That was a dude made in the lab who got ties, who's been getting trained. and So y'all don't think they have child actors? They had child actors. We have child actors on TV from from, from Macaulay Culkin to the Olsen Twins. So you don't think 50 Cent could have been a child actor in the hood, act like he had all the stories? 50 Cent let y'all know he was made in the lab. Made in the lab. Most, most rappers are made in the lab. So we'll watch in the club. He's in Area 51. They showing him in there. Then he goes to the club and raps. That video Deserves a breakdown. Let me know if you need me to break down that video for y'all. We do probably a little 10, 15 minute video breaking it down. A lot of rappers are made in lab. NBA Young Boy had a, a situation where he showed rappers being made in the assembly line. A lot of rappers are made in the assembly line, man. A lot of rappers are not real, and they're here to bring you 
fake images. Fake images on TV because being poor and black is a business. Well, think about it. We keep food stamps in business. We keep politicians in business with the black vote. Black black civil rights movement. If there's no poor black people, civil rights movement is gone. No black poor, there's no poor black people getting shot. Civil rights movement is gone. We need black men going to jail for prisons. We need black going to jail for the gangs. The gangs need to have, you don't think there's a quota for gang members to join? There's a quota. There's somebody at the very top saying, dang, we, only, we, we need to increase our gang member initiation. You know what I'm saying? This is black. The, the, the ignorant black man is a business. So who's going to else be the work race? Somebody has to take the trash out. Somebody has to be the Uber driver. N nothing against Uber drivers. I'm just saying, matter of fact, black men ain't got license anyway. So they can't be no Uber driver anyway. Somebody has to take the trash out. Somebody has to dig the holes, to dig the ditches. Somebody has to do that. And they're going to get a black man with no education, with a bad, with bad, all these charges and all these cases to do that. And they're going to have him going to jail. Think about it, if you're a black man, you've been in the jail for seven years. It's seven years free labor. So you in jail seven years making license plates. License plate factory guy can make thirty thousand a year. Let's say a minimum thirty thousand. Seven years, that's two hundred ten thousand dollars they save because they threw you in jail to make these license plates. You know what I'm saying? Free manual labor. And they'd rather see a black person do it because if a black person does it, there's more and more money into it. Black person goes to jail. White man goes to jail. White man goes to jail. He doesn't have no influence. He doesn't have... He, 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 other people in his family ain't going to copy him. Black man goes to jail. He, a black man going to jail inspire other little boys going to jail. I want it because we come out of jail. We bigger. We stronger. You know what I'm saying? It's rare black men got to jail and do anything with their lives. Some of them do nowadays. But the guy out of jail, they're bigger, they're stronger, they're hitting all the chicks, the little kid sees that, he don't want to go to jail too. I'm telling you, a lot of guys in my neighborhood, a lot of guys in my generation want to go to jail. They are ready. They, they, they can't wait to go to jail. They love it. They sit around, talk their jail stories back and forth. They love jail. They'll go to jail right now. They love it. They love it to the, to the T. They spend the rest of their life there. A lot of guys do spend the rest of their life there. You know, and I really do feel like, yeah, it does boil down to the parenting, but they, 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 infiltrated our parenting in the black community on purpose to where now we are vulnerable to rap music you know i had good parenting jesus didn't influence me to sell drugs um i didn't I, I i know it's not even in my blood but my parents are hard workers i'm a working person so they know the child is vulnerable for me to play this type of stuff they're going to take advantage they're going to be taken advantage of so the rapper shows us how to dress how to wear our hair think about it, if a rapper has a new style everybody gonna copy i remember future came in with the freddy cougar hats the entire club has a freddy cougar hats the entire club in 2015 every man had it every man had it. i'm like yo what what is going on man so they know the influences of the rapper is very powerful that's why they all most rappers are in a position controlled by the powers that be or as a paid actor in that position um, the tattoos on the faces is another one. I mean, we, we got mad tattoos on our faces now. Which, which once you get a tattoo on your face, you don't have any skills. You don't have any... Most of these black guys are useless, like I said. So we got a tattoo on their face. They're going to be working at a warehouse all day. Which is not, nothing wrong working at a warehouse. Nothing wrong. But a lot of these guys are working at a warehouse, getting fired, failing the drug test. I mean, when I work at a warehouse, anytime I see a dude with tattoos on his face, I'm like, he ain't about to last long. And they be gone. They be out of there. They ain't got caught stealing. And, and, and it makes you as a target. You might be up to some good. But now you see all that tattoos on your face because the rappers made it normal. Hip-hop made it normal. Hip-hop culture is bad. If we get rid of hip-hop culture, we can fix the black. That's our first step in fixing the black community. I'm talking about doing away with it 100%. Getting rid of all the music. Getting rid of everything. I'm talking about, let's go back to the blues. If we go back to the blues, we straight. We go back to the blues and jazz. When we was doing blues and jazz, we were wearing suits. Go back to anybody who was in a band blues and jazz back in the 50s. Dudes had, that was a swag back then anyway, suits. Now look at us. Everything street and hood now. If we can get rid of hip-hop culture, that be step first moving forward. But once we get hip-hop culture, we get rid of all of black culture. Now, black culture is hip-hop culture. You know, think about how the, the gang stuff, where every time you see songs, the gang's in. Uh, anything with black culture is always hip-hop. That's why you see us in movies, they're playing hip-hop. You see a group of black people, we're playing rap music. You know, and always, the, the, we, we made all the terms. We made the term lit. We lit. We lit. We made all these terms up. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the black people for real, because they all took us away from this planet. It will be boring. But 
we can still be fun, but we 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 are our own demise and our own destruction. And hip hop plays a very vital role in making sure we stay as useless as possible. All right, so that's all I had to say on that, man. Let me know if y'all like this block. I do think we do need to do that. Get rich die trying breakdown that 50 cent breakdown will be needed because i do believe he's made the lamb and i don't trust none of these rappers they show these rappers getting unalived all the time through robberies to show in our head that's what's supposed to happen to us that's why so many black men are comfortable with it we we'll put ourselves in situations we'll go to the club be like oh man nobody gonna hate on me nobody gonna hate on me I, i'm strapped up you know what i'm saying just don't go to that club you gotta be worrying about that go to another club somewhere else but nah we gotta flex and stunt which is worse hip-hop created that's all i gotta say man it's boy doing claim doing claim tv Bless you, I'll be safe. I'm out.